You know, Mike, um, I'm wondering, where where do where do James Harden go? Where, where does where does James Harden go? Where does Kyrie Irving go? Uh, where do some of these guys go? The rest of us just don't know about. They're able to kind of overcome the human condition. They're over able to overcome humanity uh, in, in general, and and not take things personally that are actually personal. Like James Harden asked for a trade out of Brooklyn to Philadelphia. So this is just another game, even though he asked for the trade. Kyrie Irving was sitting alongside Kevin Durant, who did take it personally. Shout out Kevin Durant, who did take it personally and didn't draft James Harden on his all-star basketball team because he was in his feelings, rightfully so, because he's human. I, like, can we just push that stuff aside and embrace embrace that this is a very personal, very intense matchup between the Nets and the 76ers. They're in the same conference. They're both going for championships. James Harden thinks he's right. Daryl Morey thinks he's right. Ben Simmons is not feeling Philadelphia, uh, and he hopes he's in a better situation with the Brooklyn Nets tonight. This is what basketball is supposed to be about, man. Let's not play this game. Like, it's just some sanitized, another game on the schedule. We got to do what we do. It's about us. It's not about them. Are you feeling me on that? I mean, like, let's just go ahead. It's, no. it's an intense rivalry now. I don't think it's personal for them. I think it's personal okay. for us. I oh, think no. it's personal for us. Oh, it's not personal. The people who are who have been invested in the storyline, I think it's in, I think it's personal for Philly fans. I think it's personal when not it personal comes for ben to Simmons. one person and one person only, and that's Ben Simmons. The only person for whom it's personal is Ben Simmons. It's literally personal for Ben Simmons. Uh, Kevin Durant said something I thought was very thoughtful um, after the Nets' last game uh, in anticipation of tonight's sequel to Trade in Places um, that I, I think speaks to how much this is business and not personal. So you got to realize these new dudes, you know what I mean? Like, there's a difference between petty and personal. So Kevin Durant can be petty on TNT and not draft James Harden, okay? Right. But personal, no, it's not personal, it's business. And part of the reason it's business is because of how they all operate. Kevin Durant has changed teams twice. Controversially, less so with Golden State, but controversially both times. So Kevin Durant has had his personal reasons for making business career decisions, first leaving Oklahoma State to join a team against whom the Thunder infamously blew a 3-1 lead, join a 73-win nice. Golden State Warriors team, and has never lived that down for a lot of people. Then, at the end in Golden State, when that relationship ran its course, obviously joined up with Kyrie Irving in Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving, you just talked about Kyrie Irving and the reception that he received in Boston, and he likened Boston to the ex-girlfriend that's waiting for a text, even though, as you pointed out, Celtics fans and the Celtics as an organization, they've moved on, okay? So Kyrie Irving has yeah. been there, done that twice as well. Demanding a trade away from LeBron to Cleveland, right. uh, to Boston, and then deciding after a couple of years to leave Boston to join up for a super team with Brooklyn. Personal is Kyrie Irving deciding that basketball is not so important that I'm going to get a vaccine, a COVID-19 vaccine that I don't believe is right for me. That's personal. So what I'm saying is I think Kevin Durant was being truthful. He was being thoughtful and honest the other day when he said you look at it from James Harden's perspective. And maybe if you want, Michael, if you want, maybe it was a little bit of subtle shade. If you want, he's never won a championship. Yeah, he never won a championship. Kyrie, Kyrie right, Irving right. has made one of the greatest shots in NBA history. I got two of them things and two finals MVPs. Right. Says Kevin Durant. The one guy who doesn't have a championship, his biological clock is ticking. So he panicked. He looked at Kevin Durant he and did. said, he's hurt. He looked at Kyrie Irving and said, he's part time. I got to make the best move for me. So the reason it's not personal for, right. for when it comes to James Harden is both those guys, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, even even though they could look at it and look at it with a side eye for his rationale, still understand what it means to make a personal basketball decision. But on the other hand, it is 100% personal with Ben Simmons. We're talking about his mental health, 
and the fines that he accrued for mental health. Danny Green was, uh, I read where Danny Green was talking about how they, they used to play GM in the Sixers locker room and come up with trades for Ben Simmons. You know it's personal when it comes to Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, and it's obviously right. personal for the fans of Philadelphia. But when it comes to James Harden, no, James Harden, he's a higher gun at this point. Let me tell you, it's personal for all of them. I don't believe it. Like, okay, great. Kevin Durant does give, give, give good interviews. I don't believe him. I, Mike, I just don't believe him. Look, you go to Brooklyn and you said it right. He did panic. James Harden panicked. You go to Brooklyn with Kyrie Irving. And then James Harden comes on board. And all of a sudden, y'all rolling team, rolling team, like an offensive juggernaut. And it was amazing to watch for 16 games. Okay, but they were doing their thing. They were doing it. And now, James Harden, when you're hurt, see, that's just even more personal. When you're hurt and you're just thinking, I know you never heard this phrase before, you're thinking of your Kevin Durant, hold the rope. Okay. Uh, a little inside baseball, but you're saying, hey, just hold on. I'm, I'll be back. Calvary's coming. You ain't got no problems, Jules. Calvary's on the way. We'll, we'll be there directly. All of a sudden, James Harden starts tripping, and he won't tell them that he wants to be traded, but he's not opposed to them trading him. It was personal for him because he didn't and like what Kyrie it. Irving was doing. And, and, and checks out. And, and it was personal. It was personal, I'm sure, for Irving. It's personal for Durant. Personal, well, I, I, the Philadelphia but, thing. But you're personal, right. but let's let's define let's define here's, personal, per, personal yeah. and hard feelings, personal and hard me. feelings. Yeah, it was personal for James Harden in that for my career, this is what I need to do, and this is not what I signed up for. For you to be unvaccinated and available only for road games, and for you to be hurt, so I'm going to personally decide to sabotage this situation so that I could force my way to where I wanted to go all along which was to my BFF Daryl Morey and the MVP contender Joel Embiid. Personal in that regard. Hard feelings Dude. though, understand the egos at play here because in order for there to be hard feelings, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving have to feel like they need James Harden. Did they want James Harden? Sure. But two dudes that's equally capable of putting up 50 points on any given night Two of the right. best players, most gifted players in the NBA. I don't think that they're sitting back bemoaning the departure of James Harden because they don't believe that they need James Harden. Because if that was the case, Kevin Durant would have made a much bigger stink about Kyrie Irving choosing to be part time for personal reasons. And there would be they, they, they would be walking around with their heads hanging. They, they don't they, these dudes are hoopers, high level hoopers that ain't sitting around saying, man, Man, if we only had James Harden. No, okay, James, do you. They're all humans. Do us. They're hoopers and humans. Superhumans. It's just like, and they can, again, they're not super, petty. Not, not super, they super can, ballers, they can be but not petty. superhuman. They can be petty and they can say, they can judge James Harden on his professionalism or lack thereof, allegedly, when it came to how it ended in Brooklyn. But, okay, I'm human too. I don't care. I don't need, I don't depend on anybody else. I'm going to do me. I know what I'm capable of, so I'm gonna do me regardless of what somebody else is doing in any walk of life. I'm gonna keep it pushing. They gonna keep it pushing. They're not sitting up here laying in the fetal position. You know that meme, with the Wolverine meme, yeah. where, they, where where somebody laying in the bed, where Wolverine's laying in the bed, looking at the picture. Yeah. That's not them. At, that's not them at night looking at James Harden, wishing James Harden had chosen right. them. That's, Kevin Durant's the best <laughs> player in the world. Kyrie Irving believes he's the best player well, in the I'm world. Not. You think they worry about? You think they what worry I'm. about James Harden? Look, and I sweat yeah, this is here. It is. Yeah, you'll do you and other people will do themselves, right? Okay. But if somebody lets you down, if somebody crosses you, if somebody falls short, you might forgive them. But Diddy, okay, great. Never, let's just, okay, let's just go and stop right it. there. You okay, ain't but never going to forget it. But Diddy, but Diddy, did he let them down? That, yeah. they're, let's, that, they're, they're, okay, in your opinion, yeah. I disagree. And part of the reason they're I disagree is I don't think they're about to be I don't, under 500 tonight when they lose this game. James, they're about James, to be Harden under 500. James Harden didn't let them down any more than Kyrie Irving let them down by not getting vaccinated. James Personal Harden choice. Bailed. And, and, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and this is why Kevin he Durant, bailed. I'll that's never, on him. Not, but do you think they're bitter because he bailed? You think they're bitter? Yes. 
See, let, yes. see, let down, let down means I'm depending on you. At, I don't think those at, dudes are yeah. de- were de- or think that they were depending on him like that. Well, especially, especially since uh, did they uh, want the, him? The, the sure, that's why they got together. But they weren't like, oh my god, we can't win without. It's almost like you're saying. Not, not, I know you're not saying this. I know you're not saying this, Michael. So I don't want to like put words it. in your mouth. Well, okay. but it's like, oh, we can't win without James Harden. I don't think that that's what yeah. they think. Well, that's yeah. what you okay. think. All right. I don't right. think that that's what and they that, think. Bro. Here's here, here's the thing. Once once our full time professor just decided he wanted to teach night school, you know, a couple times a week. You know, we thought we thought you had full time. We thought you were full time office hours, Mr. Masterclass, uh, Kyrie Irving. We signed up for your class. Oh wait a minute, you ain't here. Oh, we in New York, you not in class. We got to go on the road to find you anyway. Once Kyrie Irving decided that he wasn't gonna get stuck. All right. Uh, the 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 rotation the rotation really for the Brooklyn Nets changed and the expectations changed. But I want to say there, here's one reason you mentioned this earlier. Here's why Kevin Durant is different than James Harden and, and different than Kyrie Irving in terms of career decisions. Kevin Durant. Some people didn't like it. I didn't mind it. Kevin Durant went from Oklahoma City to Golden State. Why? Hmm. He was a free agent. He was a free agent. He did his time in Oklahoma City, won an MVP. Mm-hmm. They were yeah. excited about him, gave, gave one of the great leadership speeches right. uh, slash MVP no, speeches there's a, I've ever no, heard. No, there's a difference. Moved on. He did the same thing when Golden he went to State. Brooklyn. He was a free agent. Let them. Same thing. Let them. Yeah. Free agent. The other two guys so, forced trades. Yes. Hey, and, and you guys know that. See, that's business. Well, if, if a guy mm. is just is able to go in wherever he wants, his contract yeah, not, but is in, up? In, okay. in an NBA with, with, with player with player empowerment, like I, there's 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 only a, a transactional literal difference between being a free agent and forcing a trade. Guys force trades all the time. They've been forcing trades since the beginning of time. Michael, I, yeah, but, okay. I'm just saying, we, just saw Kyrie, we just saw Kyrie Kevin Durant go back did. to Boston. We just saw Kyrie Kyrie Irving go back to Boston. You tell me. And then if, is it personal? But is it personal between Kyrie Irving and members of the Celtics, as in members Jason of the Tatum, Celtics, as in Jalen Brown? Uh, Okay, I'm not, Jason about, Tatum, I'm not no. talking about TD Garden. I got you. I got you. Jason Tatum, not personal. It's all love. Jalen Brown is personal. They don't like each other. Mm-hmm. So Jalen okay. Brown and Kyrie. Did they like each other, but did they like yeah. each other when they played together? No, they did not. There's that. So my I mean, point is, yeah. in, in 2022, so, so, in a day and age where these dudes hang out in the summer, they practice in the summer, players move all the time, players force trades all the time. I think that today's player has a heightened awareness of and a, and a heightened uh, imp level of empathy to other players taking control of their destiny because number one, if they decided to hold grudges and, and, and let it be personal for people who decided that they were going to go and, and leave a team and jump to another team, it'd be nothing but right. gr- gla- people in glass houses throwing bricks. It'd be nothing but pots calling kettle blacks and calling ke- calling kettles black. Excuse me, and nobody would have any friends in the NBA. And a lot of old school dudes and hate the fact that all these dudes are friends. I was just gonna they, say. They, I was just gonna say. All of them. All based of them on your tight. scenario, your scenario, not so bad. Uh, for me, it's not so bad. I and, want I, and a I'm sure there's a lot of people that would that, prefer a league with, anim- with and, more animus in it. Yeah. Just give me a little bit. Give, give me give a little bit. Now it doesn't have to be that all the time. Just give me. Uh, just, just a peek. <laughs> just give me a little peek of of 1980s basketball. This is a little bit where there was real hatred. Isaiah Thomas and Michael Jordan still can't stand each other. They still can't. Larry Bird and Bill Lambeer can't stand each other. They were on the same All Star team, and Lambeer would walk on the bus and say "Good morning, Larry," and Larry would say "F you, Bill," but he'd say the real thing, and it wasn't. They weren't even joking. So Kevin Durant and Draymond I, I, Green cussed each other out in Golden State. Next thing you know, yeah, they doing content together. They, they doing, doing they doing interviews together. It, like I mean, all these dudes, they all they all buddy buddy man. Like so, it's that's business, and they've been though. there, and they and they know they know what it means. And again, Durant hit it. Harden's clock is different. Harden's timetable is different. Harden's impatient. Harden. Feels like I got I, I got to win a championship. I got to win, or at least that's what he wants people to believe. Over. Yeah, Before you know, so started. it's like when you look at it from his. So that's why I thought that was very mature, very thoughtful on Katie's part to say, looking at it from his perspective, because Katie knows what it's like for people to not look at it or not care about what it is that he wants. 
or Kyrie Irving when you know, he wants. So yeah, personal let, only let, in so far as making personal decisions, but not hard feelings. My my last comment on it is this: you know, long time ago, you probably don't even remember this. It was so long ago. Uh, there was this sport. It's called baseball, Major League Baseball, and they, you know, used to have uh, like great players, and they used to have something called the World Series. I know it's hard to remember that time, but baseball during the regular season, if your team sucked, and and you know who you are, uh, you're a fan of the Pittsburgh Pirates. If you're if you're a fan of of you know old school Kansas City Royals, Baltimore Orioles, your team sucked. You could say as a fan, you could say during the season. Hey, I mean, they can't hit left-handed pitching. They can't le- hit left-handed pitching. And the media would say it. And you go to the players, and they deny it all up and down. Go to the manager who would never admit it. And you know what would happen? They'd go to spring training the next year, and you'd ask, okay, why didn't you do well last year? And they'd say, well, you know, we didn't hit left-handed pitching well. They will tell you the truth eventually. So you mentioned a podcast with Draymond Green and, and Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is a podcaster. He's media savvy. Kevin Durant will tell you the truth. Maybe in a couple months season's over. He'll talk about James Harden. They'll tell you how personal I'm sure it is. There, just, I'm, I'm, just I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm there are thing, I'm sure there are things that James Harden did. I mean, there's plenty of reports to, to this effect. Plenty of things that James Harden did that rubbed Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving the wrong way and vice versa. But when you say personal, maybe we just had a whole conversation and I misunderstood you as if tonight has some kind of deeper meaning, as if there's a point to prove, as if the Nets want to show up in a tight red dress at the wedding in order to prove that you picked the wrong one or something. Mm. I don't. That's not what this is. That's not what this is. The Nets I are worried about their own house, the Sixers, like James Harden's just an opponent now. He's an opponent now. There's, there is absolutely nothing personal for guys who have been there, done that, there. and gotten a championship T-shirt that James Harden does not have? Maybe I look, right, man. Maybe I'm giving, maybe I'm giving these dudes way too much credit. Maybe I'm giving them way too much credit. Maybe I'm, maybe maybe I think they're more mature, and maybe I'm falling for their acting jobs. I just think two yeah. two of them move too often. Two of them, you know, make power moves too often to judge somebody else and say, Tell well, me about this red dress that was way. messed up how you did this. I didn't say nothing about mine. I said hypothetically. I said, I'm no, saying, I said hypothetically. So said what hypothetically. Like what you, act, you, act, you act like they're bitter, like they're scorned. It's like, it's Kevin freaking Durant. It's Kyrie Irving. Like, they, they, these dudes ain't tripping. They got their own stuff to worry about. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.